Hey, good morning, Tony. Yeah, those buses will be rolling out really soon if they're not already to pick up those students. You know, the Labor Day holiday marked the official end of summer break for students in Prince George's County and the rest of our region as everyone is getting ready to head back to class for what's certain to be a very different school year. Mask will be required for students, teachers and staff and everyone who enters inside of a building in Prince George's County School District. They will also be required for students when they're at recess and when they're on buses and teachers and staff will have to show proof of vaccination or to go undergo weekly COVID testing. But the big focus this year for the school district is to get back to in person learning and focus on what's their new normal. Now we spoke with a spokesperson from the district and she tells us that many students have been learning from home for so long that they will continue to focus on learning and safety and ensuring a successful transition back to classrooms. The district also says that 98% of students are expected to return to in person learning. However, However, there are some virtual options that were made available for more than 12,000 students who signed up for them. The new K through 6 virtual option is available for the fall and the new 7 through 12 virtual academy, which is a limited virtual options for students who performed well and had limited absences during the virtual learning last year will be available as well. The district says that because of distance learning, they are now a one in one school district, meaning all students have their own personal devices like iPads and Chromebooks. And then when it comes to foods, students me meals will be free for all students this school year. They'll be individually packaged and distributed in several and served rather in the cafeteria or in spaces determined by school administrators. PG CPS is also experiencing a bus driver shortage, which many districts in our region are experiencing as well. So parents and guardians are encouraged to drive their students to school or walk them if at all possible. Now, Dr. Goldson, the district CEO, will start the day here at Deerfield Run Elementary School. She'll be here shortly. We've already kind of seen some movement. A few more folks and teachers are showing up. We saw the door open. I saw the band room inside, so maybe a band will come outside and play us some music. <laughs> we don't know. I'm not making any promises. But yes, those buses are going to pick up those kitties. It's a little chilly this morning, so we approve of the hoodies for those. You know, we've seen a lot of kids going back to school in those hoodies, so we approve of them because it's a little chilly this morning. But class is getting started here soon, and we'll be here throughout the morning, and we'll bring you more coming up a little bit later on WUSA9.com. But that's the latest from here in Laurel. I'll send things back to you guys in the studio.